Crafty Peeps, it's Deb here with Country Craft Creations and Creative Life and today I am sharing with you a cute little project that you are going to love. <laughs> so, we are using the December Craftology box from Country Craft Creations and that is uh, featuring the Echo Park I'd Rather Be Crafting paper collection. So um, this little tissue box is what we're going to be making and it has a lid so you can flip it back and forth or flip it back and forth and then your little tissues you know just come right out <laughs> of course it's tearing on camera <laughs> so but it's a brand new package so it's not used yet so um, I just went ahead and I um, I when I unwrapped it I just put the little flap inside there kind of stuck it to the side so my tissue would come out and um, so but you would just put your lid on get your little tissue and there you go so I thought that that would be like a super cute idea for like if you're going to a crop or if you want to give it as a little gift to somebody who's sick or um, you know or just have one for yourself on your desk um, so I thought that that would be really cute so to make this we're gonna go ahead and um, cut the bottom and first so um, so or yeah we'll go ahead and cut the bottom and the top portion so this part is going to be my top and um, uh, so for the top we are going to go ahead and cut this at um, four and three eighths by six and three eighths. Okay, so we have four and three eighths. So there's four, four and three eighths right here. I think it's pretty much cut already. I I just grabbed it from my my bin. So um, let me let me go ahead and cut that little white piece off here. Okay, and then um, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it at six and three eighths so six and three eighths would be I think my six and three eighths is right here oh wait no um hold on it's right here there's like a little line there I think that's it right there Okay, so um, and then and I kind of etched that a little bit so but you, you can it don't worry about it because we're gonna um, fold these anyway inside we're gonna have little flaps for our boxes so uh, for this part what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead uh, for your top part on the four and three eighths side you are going to go ahead and score at seven eighths right here okay seven eighths and at three and a half okay and then when you turn it long ways at the six and three eighths you are going to go ahead and score it again at seven eighths and at five and a half okay Okay, and then you can go ahead and cut those out, okay? I'm going to go ahead and um, excuse myself for one second. I'm just going to close my door. Okay, so, okay, so then we're going to go ahead and um, I cut in between my, um, my, score lines but you can cut yours however you want um, that just gives me this little uh, like a little notch right there and I just cut that off and it gives me a nice little clean uh, little opening right there for my box for my flaps to, sh to close inside my box so okay so then we're just gonna go ahead and turn this over like this
And you're going to do the same thing on your um, lid as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and grab, you're going to need two dies, okay? Um, if you choose to, you can do, we're going to do a smaller die here, the oval part, or you can use a punch, or you can uh, do a, a punch, then lay it on your um, cardstock, trace it, and then cut it out, okay? Um, and then the other die, a larger part, of that is going to be your lid and you can use that or what I did already was I took one of the stickers from the sticker sheet which was the little tag that was right here in the spot um, I took it and I put it on top of a paper um, a scratch piece of paper and I just cut it out around it and that's what I'm going to use as my lid and I thought that would be a super cute idea as well as using an oval for your lid and then putting a sticker on it so I thought those two ideas would be like super cute so let me grab my Sizzix I'm going to cut this out okay I will be right back okay I'm back sorry I had to um, take a break for a real sec I'm watching my granddaughter today so had to go check on her make sure everything's good so um, okay so then you're gonna have this little um, uh, oval in your uh, <laughs> lid <laughs> so okay so we're gonna go ahead and glue in the inside of our box here Okay. And okay. So there's our lid. Okay, so next we're going to do the bottom. That's our top. So so um, the bottom so part is going to be four and five eighths by six and a half. So we're going to kind of cut that. So four, four and five eighths. I, I think it's at four and five eighths actually. Oh, maybe not. Let's see here. Where is my? It's at four and a half. You're going to cut your lid at four or five eighths at six and a half. So, um, so we're going to go ahead and do it this way. So six and a half is right here for me. Okay. And I'm going to show you guys like how to do it, but it's not, this part is going to be different for me. Um, because my paper, the script, this is the last sheet of paper I have. Okay. So, um, what you're going to do is on the minus eight, going to say four and a half, but actually, let me scoot you guys back just a bit. Um, but actually, yours is going to be at four and five eighths. Okay. So, it's going to be there by six and a half. And you're going to go around and score um, one inch all the way around okay so um, you're gonna score at one inch and I'm gonna score mine at one inch but it's not gonna be like what yours is gonna be like okay mine might be a little smaller so <clears throat> and this is and that's okay because I'm just showing you guys I used like all the paper I had in this line you guys used everything
And then you're just going to go ahead and fold these in, okay? I'm not sure if my little tissue will fit in here or not, but we'll try it. Okay, and then you're just going to go ahead and fold your flaps in and glue them down. My, my bottom might be a little bit smaller than y'all's. So my paper was at four and a half by six and a half. So we'll see how this works. That worked. So it works. So I'm going to take that. This is like a little sticky thing. I'm just going to stick that down in there and my lid goes right over that just like that so um, there you go and then for your lid part I'm just gonna go ahead and um, poke a hole in here with my brad right over that that oval just like that okay and then my brad is just gonna Go ahead and look like that and there's your little closure so put that over like this and then you can go ahead and take out your tissue when you want to <laughs> so, <laughs> thanks for joining me and I hope that you guys like this project and um, if you make one uh, tag me in it over at scrapbookers of countrycraftcreations.com and so thank you so much I'll talk to you soon bye